Chinese vessels were again reported in the vicinity of Pagasa Island last July 24 and 25. In fact, National Security Advisor Hermione Cispiron said there were 113 of them. He also confirmed that a Chinese warship sailed along Tawi-Tawi two months ago without informing the Philippines. We had a diplomatic protest on that and then uh, we simply have to... Alam mo, sa totoo lang, mayroon naman tayong relation sa military to military and uh, uh, ambassador to ambassador. So, pwede nating pag-usapan ulit yan na it's a common practice and customary for military assets. When they pass, we simply have to get uh, diplomatic clearance. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana has called China a bully for intruding into the Philippine waters. But the Philippine government prefers to stick with diplomatic channels in dealing with China. A military response, as Duterte has repeatedly stated, is not an option. Hindi, hindi mo matadala sa military action. Military action. Ang problema ay yung pagdaan. Yes, sir. Eh, wala naman pinutukan. The China pivot of the Duterte administration may have eased the possibility of a shooting war. But the incursions by China have not stopped and may have become the new normal in the West Philippine Sea. For News 5, Rama Lopez, we are One News.